Hey, welcome to this. So, I have a lot of RAM, right? And you know what they say, unused RAM is wasted RAM. Well, I've decided to take my unused RAM and install Arch Linux on it. So that's what we're going to be doing in today's video. We're going to be installing Arch Linux on RAM. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. All right now, since I do not plan on doing this on this ThinkPad, I'm going to connect to my main computer at this IP address. And we're in. So, I'm going to use this command to mount a 12 gigabyte RAM disk. Authenticate. And we are out. We can now run Virtual Machine Manager. And we can make a new connection. Connect to the host over SSH. Log in as WhaleTech07 on host 192.168.0.9. Connect. Oh, I need an ask pass. Welp, good thing I can just sudo pacman dash s lxcute open ssh ask pass. And we can just enter in our password. And there's all my virtual machines. So we can make a new one on local install media. There's our Arch ISO. Choose the volume. This is Arch Linux, so I choose Arch Linux. We'll give it 496 megabytes of RAM and CPUs. We can just go crazy. Four. Uh, let's make custom storage in the RAM disk. Um, Arch Linux RAM. Uh, yes, yes, yes. 12 gigabytes. That'll do. Choose volume. Forward. We'll call this Arch Linux RAM. And we'll customize the configuration first because I have stuff to do in here. First up, we'll choose UEFI. We're going to call it Arch Linux RAM. Apply. Now, there is some stuff we're going to have to do in here. So we're going to remove, but we're going to begin the installation. Now, I'm not going to be using this for my VNC viewer. I'm going to get out of this. We're going to open up Tiger VNC. Connect to, yeah, that's actually the correct IP address. And password is QEMU. And we're in. This is the Arch Linux installer. We're just, oh gosh, no, no, no. Yeah, we have some scroll bars, but we can maybe put it in full screen. Let's see here. Can I get out of this? Um, F8. Full screen. Okay, there we go. That's actually a lot better. So we can load keys, UK. And then CF disk, GPT. We're gonna make a new 250 megabyte EFI system partition. And then the rest of the space will just be the Linux file system. I accidentally clicked dump. Yes. I'm gonna make fs.vfat mount slash dev slash vda2 slash mnt. And then we'll mount the boot one. There we go. Now, what do you do from here? Oh, now we're off to essential packages. Unpack um, strap dash k slash mnt base linux. That'll be good enough for right now. But anyway, we are installing and we're just gonna let it do its thing. All right, well, it's done. It only took, is that 41 seconds? Yeah, 41 seconds. Gen F stab dash U slash MNT slash MNT slash ETC slash F stab. Uh, yes. Um, arch churu slash MNT. LN dash SF slash user share zone info Europe. London slash etc slash local time micro slash etc slash locale dot gen and we're gonna uncomment British English and American English save that locale gen micro slash etc slash locale dot conf lang en gb dot utf dash eight
there we go now for the fun stuff pseudo pacman dash s sddm plasma meta get install that along with install this and now we'll just wait for this to install all right we're done uh pseudo no system ctl enable sdm user add There we go, now we can exit. U mount dash I slash MNT reboot. And we're rebooting. Oh, and it killed the connection. Okay, what's going on now? Oh, the virtual machine is literally just down. All right, I started it back up. Q-E-M-U. Hey, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. That's A, full screen, and we can log in. And we're in, this is KDE Plasma, running on a virtual machine, running in RAM. Now, can I set my display to, well, not 1024 by 768. Want that one. Yeah, that's a lot better. Yep, my mouse cannot go down there. Seriously, I'm moving my mouse down. It literally cannot go down there. Oh no, I can't even hit the shutdown button. Oh no. Yeah, what is... How do I shut this computer down? Power management. How do I... Shut down. After one minute. Shut down after 10 seconds. Okay, well, I think it's set it to after one minute. So, yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one next week. Bye. Just want to catch it shut down. I am not touching it. Oh! It just killed the connection. And yup, the VM is down.